Hi and welcome to another Jane of All Trades short. Today we're going to be talking about art boards. So art boards is its own little extension I've got here in the bottom right. If you're ever looking for any items for the side panel, it's a window. If it's checked, it appears. If it's unchecked, so we're looking for art boards there which has a tick next to it and that's how you make it appear. So artboards, this is a handy wee box so we can add more artboards, like so. And if we zoom out by holding Alt and pulling the scroll wheel backwards, uh, we can use spacebar to get our little hand and we can organise these artboards. My, I prefer my workflow to be horizontal so I'm going to change it so that it appears like this instead of side by side but you get to choose. Uh, so what we're working with today is uh, we're not working where all the artboards are the same size. There's two ways that we can adjust the size of the artboard. We can click on this little panel here and we are faced with the box and we can actually change what it's going to be. So we can just make that artboard 100 and we can also change the orientation and go OK. So now we have one artboard that is now a completely different size to the other four. We can do the same with artboard number two. We can make that 200 and we can change the orientation of that. And now we have an artboard that is twice the size and so on and so forth. So artboards can also be renamed. We'll call that one artboard one and artboard two so that it's easier identifiable. Uh, we'll take this out and you can also select an artboard and there's a tool here which is the same icon that is over here where you can select it and instead of inputting the numbers you then have control over how you want that artboard to look just by dragging and dropping. Uh, that would be quite handy if you've already created artwork, you've got it roughly in the size that you want it to be and you don't really want to change it or you don't need to change it. You can then adjust the artboard to fit the artwork instead of the other way around. So that's a really, really handy tool to have. To select the main select tool, you can just press V or you can just click it like I do. And then the final artboard, we don't really need that. Therefore, we can just hit the delete button and that gets rid of the final artboard and we can zoom out and now we've got three artboards in three different sizes and again you can just add another artboard onto the side adjust and okay and it's duplicating the last artboard that it has the size of and we'll do the same here as you can see it's now added it in there duplicated that size Okay, and then you can just rearrange in order as you see fit or you can go in and you can delete and you can move artboards orders around. When you move the artboard order, it doesn't move it on your screen, it only moves it on here. Um, but when you go to export, you can export in any order that you see fit. So that's it for artboards. Feel free to like, feel free to discuss Describe, describe, I always say that, subscribe um, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.